Hey guys, it's Eddie here from Delaying Property and today I'm doing a video talking about valuations, valuations on property. And it's something that I find a lot of people don't actually know. They only think there's one type of valuation, when in fact there are many types of valuations that you can get done on a property, right? So, you know, this is property investment purposes that we're talking about here, but most people think that there's only one type of valuation and that would be a full valuation. So the first one I guess we'll talk about is a full valuation, and that's where, you know, if you're getting a bank to value your property, that's where they'll actually send someone from the bank, usually, depending what bank or lender you're with, they'll send someone to actually go in, have a look at the property, you know, make sure, you know, look at the, uh, the cosmetic side of it, the inside, the outside, and compare that property to, you know, comparable sales in the market, ones that have sold on the same street, in the same neighborhood, um, of the same quality, the same you know type of property and all that kind of stuff as well, what it's renting out for. They'll take all these things into consideration, but that's basically a full valuation done on a property. That's what most people think there's only just that one, when in fact there's more. So that's just one. Another one is a drive-by valuation. And a drive-by valuation, which, you know, if a person, a broker or someone from works at a bank or, you know, about loans and all that kind of stuff, you, you probably know that. But for most people, you, you, most people don't know this. The drive-by valuation is the same case scenario, but it really depends what bank you go with that will actually order that for you or, or lender. Uh, but they'll basically, where someone from the bank or for someone from the, 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 lend, the lender itself, they just basically drive by the property, you know, check it out, make sure it's there. They do, they do a lot more stuff, but they'll pretty much it's just call it drive-by valuation for that. It's like curbside or drive-by valuation, pretty much. Just And they'll basically go through that. It's, it's a much less thorough than a full valuation. It's just basically going off the statistics and, you know, checking out the property there and, you know, in terms of quality and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So that's that's number two. That's the that's drive-by or curbside valuation. Number three is uh, is the third type of valuation, which is a desktop valuation, which you know can also be classified as a statistical data valuation, and that's basically done. Say, <coughs> say you go with one of the big banks, and um, say say you your property finance with one of the big banks, and you're basically looking to get a valuation on it. Depending on what loan to value ratio your property is at, they may just do a desktop valuation or a statistical data or CMA um, on, on that actual property. And what that is, they can actually order that and you know, usually sometimes depending on what bank and you know, what systems they have, it will actually give them an answer on what the estimated value is, you know, sometimes within a few minutes, sometimes right there on the spot. Depending on what bank, they might even just ask you what, what valuation you think your property is. They'll type in, say you think it's worth 540,000 based off other ones that have sold, they'll type in 540,000, sometimes it just accepts it or declines it, and then from there it will go to either ordering a full valuation, and you go out there, and then they'll go out there and actually value the property fully from there. So it really depends on what bank you're with, what the actual purpose of actually getting the valuation is for. Um, you know, if it's a release equity to go out and buy a car or release equity to go out and buy another property or release equity for renovations or, you know, all those things come into play, which most people don't actually know. So there's, you know, overall there's about three different types of valuations. There's some other different types of statistical data valuations, but we won't go through the in-depth stuff. It's basically just the, the three, the full valuation, the drive-by or the curbside, and then the uh, desktop valuation. So depending on which one you get done on your, your investment property or your property in general, they can all have different, um, you know, types of valuations come back on that property. So, what what you'll learn, what I've learned, you know, over my journey of building a portfolio, you know, purchasing over ten properties by the time I was twenty five, is that you know you can take one property to five or ten different banks, and they may all give you a different valuation on them. So, there's always a, there's always a range. It really depends on you know, the a lot of different factors. Right, and you know, it depends on what deposit size you're doing, and you know, what's selling out there in the market, and at that time, so it really, really depends. But um, yeah, I hope this video has been a little bit of help. It's maybe changed your mindset a little bit about valuations and that kind of stuff that done on investment properties, and 
yeah, if you have any questions, send them through. Thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, found it helpful. Thanks, guys. Bye.